Who could resist marveling at China's military parades, which consistently showcase impeccable precision and unity, even standing out as one of the best military parades globally? The Chinese Armed Forces, known as the People's Liberation Army PLA, or internationally recognized simply as PLA, boast five branches. The Army, Navy, Air Force, Rocket Force, and Strategic Support Force. This time, I will share insights into the strength of China's Army. Internationally, the Chinese Army is recognized as the People's Liberation Army Ground Force, abbreviated as PLAGF. They comprise 2,545,000 personnel out of a total military personnel of 3,135,000 individuals. They are allocated funding from an overall military budget, reaching a staggering $250 billion. China's military is renowned for its primary strength in communication capabilities and intelligence gathering. Although known to prefer diplomatic methods to resolve conflicts, China does not let its guard down when it comes to its military fleet's strength. They continually conduct advanced training to fortify their military fleet. They have also been involved in various military operations, from intervening in the Korean War from 1950 to 1953, to the 1962 border conflict with India, known as the Sino-Indian Border War, China successfully achieved its objectives and took control of the disputed territory. Similarly, in military operations against Vietnam, which invaded Cambodia to overthrow the Khmer Rouge regime, China's attack aimed to force Vietnam to withdraw its troops from Cambodia. Furthermore, there are territorial disputes between China, Taiwan, and Japan regarding the ownership of the Diaoyu Senkaku Islands in the East China Sea. The Chinese army is also involved in monitoring and overseeing this area. Let's delve into their armaments one by one. According to the Global Firepower website, the total armada owned by the People's Liberation Army Ground Force reaches 174,300 units. This includes 4,950 tanks, 2,795 self-propelled artillery units, 1,434 towed artillery units, and a whopping 3,145 rocket artillery units. For standard equipment, they are equipped with various types of assault rifles, machine guns, and pistols, which number 46 types, and grenades, which reach 38 types. However, of all the weaponry, the most reliable in the assault rifle category is the QBZ-95, which uses five 8x42 mm caliber bullets. This assault rifle has several variants, such as the QBZ-95B and QBZ-97. Meanwhile, in the machine gun category, the two most relied upon are the Type 81 with a caliber of 7, 62 by 39 mm, and the Type 95 LMG, more commonly known as QBB9, which uses 5 8x42 mm caliber bullets. Then, in the shotgun category, there is the Norinco HP91, which can be used for various purposes, including security and close-range combat. Then, in the pistol category, they rely on the QSC-92, with calibers of 5, 8 Hummus 21mm DAP-92, and 9x19 MM Parabellum, utilized as a secondary weapon by the personnel of the Chinese Army. As for grenades, they opt for the Type 67 hand grenade, also known as a standard defensive hand grenade, which is used for close range attacks and is of German manufacture. Additionally, they utilize the Type 69 RPG, which signifies a portable rocket launcher used to confront armored vehicles and fortified targets. In the next two years, the PLAG plans to purchase 1.4 million units of bulletproof vests, valued at 13 billion yuan, or equivalent to one, eight billion US dollars. Some of the most renowned body protectors they utilize include the Type 06, Type 16 plate carrier, CD3218 VBSS, and ZPC plate carrier. Now let's shift our focus to various anti-tank, portable weapons and aircraft owned by the PLAGF. In the armored vehicle category, first, there is the Type 99 main battle tank 
which is an early third-generation main battle tank made in China, considered the most advanced and reliable armored vehicle in the MBT category. This tank features various modern attributes, including a primary weapon of a 125mm smoothbore gun, armor protection with a thickness reaching 39.37, 47.24 inches, observation systems, and high combat capabilities. It weighs in at 54 tons with a length of approximately 36.09 feet, a width of 11.15 feet, and a height of 7.22 feet. It is equipped with a 1,500 horsepower diesel engine, capable of reaching speeds of 49.71 miles per hour, and can travel a distance up to 248.55 miles. It is also equipped with a main 125mm cannon that can destroy targets with high accuracy and powerful firing capability. Next, there is the second generation main battle tank, Type 96, also known as ZTZ-96. Then, there is the Type 04 infantry fighting vehicle, an armored version of the ZBD-04 which possesses automatic weapons, armored protection, and good mobility. Continuing, there is the ZBD-08 Amphibious IFV, designed for amphibious operations as it can operate in both water and land, equipped with automatic weapons and armored protection. Also, there is the PCL-1 181 Multiple Launch Rocket System, a multiple rocket launch system used to launch artillery projectiles. The PCL-181 uses 370mm caliber rockets. This system can carry and launch various types of ammunition, including precision ammunition. Now let's shift our gaze to China's most lethal weaponry, namely its artillery. First, there is the PLZ-05 self-propelled howitzer, which has a caliber of 155 mm and is equipped with an automatic system for quick loading and firing. Then there is the PLZ-52 self-propelled howitzer, the latest variant of the PLE-05 with improved performance and more advanced systems. Third, there is the Type 99 howitzer, with a caliber of 155 mm, which has advanced fire control capabilities and high mobility. Fourth, there is the PLZ-10 self-propelled howitzer, which has a caliber of 120 mm and an automatic system for quick loading and firing. Shifting to their air defense system category, based on range, firstly, there is the short range HQ-7, which can launch air-to-air -air and surface-to-air missiles. This mobile SAM system uses a 6 to 6 transporter erector launcher, abbreviated as Teller, equipped with four missile launch tubes as well as search and tracking radar. The length of the missile reaches approximately 9.84 feet, the diameter 21.65 inches, and weight 186.29 pounds. Its warhead weighs around 33.07 pounds and is of the He Frag type. Additionally, there is the FN-16, a man portable air defense system, also known as man pads, which is effective against low altitude aerial targets such as helicopters and low flying aircraft. As for medium range, firstly, there is the HQ-9 Hongqi-9, more commonly known as HQ-9, a potent land-based air defense system capable of confronting aircraft, cruise missiles, and other aerial targets. The HQ-9 has a range of approximately 124 miles. Also, there is the HQ-16, whose export variant is named LY-80. This missile can be mounted on mobile land vehicles like trucks or warships and was developed starting in 2011. It consists of a target tracking radar unit capable of detecting targets up to a distance of 93.21 miles and a launch unit capable of pursuing targets up to 31.07 miles in altitude and 6.21 miles in height. It is claimed that the HQ-16 is capable of shooting down drones, Tomahawk missiles, and intercepting low-flying anti-ship missiles less than 32.81 feet from the sea surface. Then, for long range, there is the HQ-19, which can handle aerial targets up to high altitudes and can confront ballistic missiles. Also, there is the Russian-made S-400 Triumph, which is also used by the Chinese Air Force because of its potency. 
with the capability to confront various aerial targets and ballistic missiles. The Chinese Army also possesses a range of specialized aircraft. For transport aircraft types, they have the Xian Y-7, Shanxi Y-8, and Shanxi Y-9. Not many indeed, since they are just an army. But for the helicopter category, they have quite a few. Starting from the KICZ-10 and Harbin Z-19, which are attack helicopters. Then there is the Chang'e Z-8, Chang'e Z-18, which functions as a transport aircraft along with the Russian-made Mil Mi-26. Whereas for utility helicopters, some of their mainstays are the Harbin Z-9, Harbin Z-20, and Mil Mi-17. They also possess the United States Executive Transport Helicopter, manufactured under license by Turkish Aerospace Industries, the Sikorsky S-70 C-2, one of the variants of the Sikorsky Black Hawk family, which is one of the most renowned helicopters in history. Yes, there was a time when China was not entirely anti-America. Proof of this is in 1984 when they ordered the Sikorsky SS-70C-2 helicopter to reach border areas with extreme altitudes, such as the geographical characteristics found in Tibet and Xinjiang. Shifting to unmanned aerial vehicles, abbreviated as UAVs or drones for various purposes, including reconnaissance, surveillance, mapping, and other military missions owned by the Palais GF. Firstly, there is the CH-4. This Chinese-made UAV, a variant of the KSC Rainbow, can conduct reconnaissance and aerial strike missions. This UAV can carry various payloads, including bombs and missiles. Then there is the WZ-8, a supersonic drone that has become one of Beijing's most attention-grabbing military weapons. Specifically designed for high-level reconnaissance and surveillance missions, Chinese media even claim this drone can reach speeds up to Mach 6 Plus and an altitude of 29.83 miles. The next drone is the Pterodactyl-1, also known as Wing Lung-1. This is a medium-range UAV with multi-role capabilities, including surveillance, intelligence, reconnaissance, and strike. They also rely on the Pterodactyl-2, a more advanced version of the Pterodactyl-1, with enhanced capabilities and payload. Also, there is the Rainbow CH-3 drone, a tactical UAV that can be used for reconnaissance and surveillance missions with good flight capabilities. The Chinese Army also relies on various utility vehicles for various military and logistical needs. These utility vehicles are crucial to support mobility, personnel transportation, equipment transport, and other functions that support Army operations. Some of their mainstay utility vehicles include the Dongfeng Mengshur EQ 2050 series, which is a light tactical vehicle used for personnel transportation, cargo transport, and various other military needs. Then there is the Beijing BJ-212, a versatile tactical vehicle. Also, there are the NJ-2045-2046, BJ-80, and BJ-2022.